<laughs> Poor Kirby. Welcome, welcome back to my playthrough of Kirby Nightmare Dreamland on Extra Mode 4 for the Wii U Virtual Console. On to the Yogurt Yard. Don't know why it's made of yogurt, and I don't think I need high jump anymore. Also, don't need possessed freaking umbrellas coming after me. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I knew you were gonna try and bail on me, Kaboo. You know, one game I really want to play is Kirby's Avalanche, and I, sh I should so... Admittedly, I should so totally do that at some point. Just because Kirby's Avalanche... And I know Avalanche and Mean Bean Machine are just, you know, clones of Puyo, which that in itself is a good game, and I finally got around to playing Puyo later. But yeah, Avalanche and Mean Bean Machine are really good. And I remember beating that as a kid, and that was... That was a damn accomplishment. Ow. Ow. Maybe stone would have helped. And... Yeah. Come on. You're, you're not fooling anybody. I think the hidden items are going to be more frequent. I, you would think I'd remember these things. But no, I remember the first time, like, you remember a lot of first times, especially for a hard game for a child, like, like, uh, Kirby's Avalanche, because that game for, I wasn't even ten. I wasn't even ten when I made that game, because my, if my neighbor moved away, if she moved away when I was in third grade, I had to be eight, so that means I had to have been... I want to say maybe seven... I want to say I was seven when I beat Avalanche. Imagine this, a seven-year-old kid beating Kirby's Avalanche. That game was hard. Actually, it still is kind of hard to me. I know better strategies to pile on the pressure to the opponents. But no, Kirby's Avalanche is still, at its core, a pretty hard game. And I managed to beat that at a game. And Mean Bean Machine, I even beat at a young age. I want to say... I want to say I was probably about 10 or so, maybe, when I beat Mean Bean. So I I had a knack for games like that when I was younger, and it made makes me happy to have played them. And then I finally played Puyo later, and that made... Like, when I was a kid, I was in denial about some of these things. Like, I was in denial of... You know, I was in denial of Power Rangers being a clone of something. I was in denial of Avalanche being a clone. But then I've gone on... I, you know, I accepted, and... I accepted, I moved on, I seen the originals of all these things. Like, I didn't accept that Power Rangers was a clone of something called Super Sentai, but then I but then I accepted it and I watched a couple of seasons of Super Sentai. I watched the one that aired before Power Rangers became a thing. Not not Die Ranger, I watched Jetman. Jetman was really good. The game was kind of I'll admit, the game was kind of a, a bummer for it wasn't it wasn't hard, it didn't have much to it. It was it was alright. I liked it though, because I had just come off of watching Jetman at that point, so I was, you know, pumped to play it. It was it was a good game. Yeah, I hope hoping these stories certainly help you guys out. I mean it's great to have you know, it's great to remember all these things and even man, Jetman was a while ago for me, I'll admit. Not gonna lie, I'd watch Jetman back one of the last few trips I went out to see my old man, so... Ow. Nope. Bad monkey. But no, I was watching. Jetman was one of the, you know, one of my last trips out there, and that was back in 2011, so it's been like a decade since I've seen Jetman. And the fact that I can even remember it still at this point... Because Jetman was that good. And it's definitely... it. Like, the best art was in the middle. I don't know how many of you watching this out there have seen... have seen Chojin Sentai Jetman, but... the middle arc, like, the middle, like, third of it, I want to say, is, like, the best arc of the entire series. You know the one where the, where the kid finally snaps and just gains a... Then I get killed. 
I figured that was gonna happen. It's okay. But no, the one where the kid gains, like, a ton of power and just completely breaks the will of his comrades. That, and the way that whole arc ends, too, was just diabolically evil. And this was, this was like, 91, 92, so... So for them to come up with something like that way back when is pretty good. I've watched a lot of the new stuff, too. I know people... I know people hate Power Rangers Samurai, you know, the... I forgot what the Japanese version was called! Can't believe I... can't believe I dodged that. But I forgot what the Japanese version of Samurai was called off the top of my head. I... Like, I've... I've never seen... Oh, I'll take it. I've never seen the Japanese one. I've watched... How much Power Rangers have I watched? Because I'm about five years behind on Power Rangers. Only because I watched, like, two episodes of Dino Charge and wanted to gouge my f***ing eyes out. I don't like Dino- I don't- I don't like Dino Charge. Not gonna lie, I don't like it. Dino Thunder, on the other hand, love Dino Thunder. Thank you for- thank you for bringing back Tommy for one final main role. That was amazing. I mean, I know we see him in other things, I believe we- Oh no, Forever Red was bef Yeah, Forever Red was before that. But no, bringing him back for one season as a fanboy, yes please, that was fucking amazing. Uh, no, I'll just- I'll just do it my way. I did it with the umbrella last time I amazingly made it through without getting hit, but... Yeah, look at how smooth I went on that. Smooth as silk. And if you guys recall, though, we did in time for the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers, we did do a bunch of Power Rangers games. Other than the older ones, the movie and the SNES version, which was not only the first one, but that's where I started. But other than those two, fucking... The PSN one, Legacy Battles, I think it was called. Was that what it was called? But yeah, the... The one on the PlayStation, on the PlayStation Network there, that game sucked, I'm sorry. It was cool that it was multiplayer, but it sucked. And Dino, Dino Thunder, fuck if that game, I, I purposely did that one last because I'm like, I don't know anything about the Dino Thunder game, but I know about this and people say, oh, it's not good. Let's, you know, so let's, let's play this and then let's play Dino Thunder and maybe and maybe we'll get to finish off on one that's not as bad. No, it turns out Dino Thunder was worse. It turns out Dino Thunder was a lot worse. That game was atrocious. Because <laughs> they didn't have the voices, they did... You didn't get to play as the Rangers, I believe you played as just the various Megazords the entire time. So, it was just not, it was not fun, and it, it was a chore to get through, and I can't believe we beat. And, and then, yeah, the, the original, when I played that with E, not gonna lie, that game is still fun to me. Simple as all hell, like, it's, it's a very bland side scroll when beat up. It's nothing fancy. But just the fact that it's, you know, decent, and it's Power Rangers, and you get to fight all these cool things from way back, that's cool. Yep, I want you. Aha! Ow! Ha ha ha! It made it stop. But no, the Power Rangers project was was actually still a really good one all the same, despite the fact that a lot of those games were... Well, okay, it's 50 good jump crap. We could have played the Game Boy one, but we didn't. Although we should have, because the Game Boy one also isn't... it's not bad. It's okay, it's, it's okay for a Game Boy game. Now, the Power Rangers movie games, other than the one on Genesis, they all suck. I'm not ashamed to admit, they all suck. And this is coming from someone who's been a Power Rangers fan for... Well, as long as the damn thing's been around. Ooh, I want... Yeah, I want that one. But yeah, I've been a fan as long as the damn franchise has been around, and it's been around since 93, so... At this point, the 
time I'm recording this, 27 years, which is crazy. I'll, I'll be honest with you, though, guys, aren't I always, but I'll, I'll be honest with you, the first episode I watched that, like, when they're doing the thing where they're opening the capsule and, you know, they let, <coughs> they let Rita and her things out and all that, I'll admit that part was boring to me because, hell, I was a six-year-old kid, so it didn't seem like it was that interesting, but then I watched and watched and watched and, yeah, it was good. How I never got into Godzilla when I was younger, I'll know. Probably because Godzilla wasn't easy to find. But no, I, I've gone on to like that. I've gone on to like stuff like that, but how I never got into Godzilla at first is beyond me. Ow. Nope. Okay, this was the one I remember. There was a, yeah, there was a hidden door down here. Hidden door and... Ow. Okay, got this. I'm probably gonna die again. I have this feeling. I have this hunch. Okay, good. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll live. And they give you just barely enough time to get over. Oh, and if there's a button. Okay, there's a button. That means I can get my health. Because magic button gets your health back. Go figure! Okay, in the next stage, I have to remember to take a hammer in, so I don't waste my time again. Huh, no, don't want to play with the possessed umbrellas. Yeah, I didn't need health. But no, there's some, there's some fun story time for you guys. Um, wrestling-wise, also I've been... Wrestling is probably the longest, the longest thing in my life. Because I've been watching since 1991, so I watched right as the right as the Undertaker came into into the WWF. I know it was I, I know it was Survivor Series '90. I saw like like I saw Survivor Series '91 where he won the belt for the first time against Hogan, and I think. I don't remember the exact time when I watched it. Like, I don't remember off the top of my head because it's such a vague thing. I know it wasn't WrestleMania. But if anyone, you know, if anyone cares to look this up, look look up these things, Ricky Steamboat was still in the... He was the dragon, just the dragon at that point. But he was still in the company. He... Smash hadn't been repackaged into Repo Man. So I don't remember like SummerSlam is the earliest I can remember with the whole the whole wedding and Hogan and Hogan and Warrior against the turncoats. That's about oh crap, can I leave? No, I can't. Shit. What if I just can can I just kill myself and No if I do that it won't shoot. I think this is a short enough stage. Oh, shoot, wish I had that wheel power up, though. Like, that would have helped. But no, that's the, like, that's the earliest I remember being a wrestling fan was around, you know, around that point. Because it wasn't WrestleMania 7, it wasn't March or April, it was somewhere after that, but before... Actually, it was there. Eh. Yeah, I think there was Max Tomato in here. Yeah, and we need to smash this to be able to get in there, but we need, a, we need the hammer to do it. So... I mean, the end of the stage is right here. See, it's not a long stage. So I need to go, and the good thing is, though, I remember where a goddamn hammer is. So, that's good to know. Because, yeah, there's the boss. He's right there. But, yeah, I need to go in. Oh, no, that's quick drawn out the arena. <laughs> Shit. Didn't mean to get myself stuck here. I need to be, man, I need to be faster. I had a feeling. I had a feeling I'd waste everyone's time with that. But no, and I'm bringing up... I'm only bringing up the wrestling thing because it's a story to tell and... 
Okay, where's the... There's an arena here, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, good, you're here too. But I'm only bringing that up because it's been... It, it's the only thing that's probably been a bigger part of my life than the game thing. Because wrestling was 91, gaming was a year later in 92, so... Wrestling did come first. Gaming is the bigger thing for me. But, yeah, to be fair, fair is fair, wrestling came first. Oh, and does the door change color when I get everything to you? I need to, I really need to pay attention to that. It's like, also, staying up here is long. And, no! We're good. Oh man, now I gotta get through this room. Holding on to the hammer intact, because I can't, like, you, stone and hammer do the same kind of thing. Like, stone and hammer do the same kind of thing, but, as we've seen, hammer is the only thing you can use underwater. Like, you can't use, you can't use the stone. You can only use this to burn them. So, those blocks. And that was weird. Hold on, I just gotta pause for like two seconds. Just one moment. Sorry, and I'm, I'm not gonna cut that because I knew it wouldn't take that long. Just the door popped open and, you know, don't need that. That's what distracted me and got me hit. Go figure! But yeah, that's why I bring up these stories about wrestling and things of that nature because, you know, it's a big part of my life. Granted, I don't like the product as much nowadays, but I still watch. You know, it's like I told Eve back then, I used to think, hey, wouldn't it be great if we had more wrestling? Now that more wrestling's on, I'm like, hey, wouldn't it be great if they cut back? You know, so backwards thinking, you can't, you know, you can't please everybody and have them mulling. Okay, Hammer is definitely the, yeah, Hammer's definitely the ability to beat your ass with, good sir. But hey, another world down and another video to go along with it. So, of course, until next time, as always, thanks for watching.